I have a scary story. Oh, it's time for the scary story. Guys, are we ready for the, um, <laughs> are we ready for the ghost story? There we are. Do tell me if you're ready for the ghost story. Right. Are you all sitting comfortably? Then I'll begin. <clears throat> this goes back in time. It happened about 45 years ago when I was quite a young lad. And a crowd of us, uh, we were going hill walking. And on the road was an old Royal Air Force station, an old RAF station. And we were told it was very interesting, but not to go into any of the buildings because they were all haunted. And there'd been a lot of pilots had, had died during the war and a flight crew, the base had been bombed as well. So we were told not to go into it because it was haunted. Some of the locals had visited it and really were really quite afraid of going to this old Air Force base. However, uh, we walked and we camped and the next day we arrived at the old base. All the grass was overgrown, the runways were all overgrown, sheep grazing. Quite a pastoral picture, actually. Anyway, we went in and we had a look. We went to the control tower and uh, we went into one of the buildings. And then I turned round to speak to my friends when we were in one of the buildings. And my friends weren't there. I was there on my own. There was four of us, four of us all together in the party. I was there on my own. And that was fine, but then I felt a very, very cold shiver. <sighs> and the temperature appeared to have dropped in the building. And I looked ahead of me, I couldn't see anything. It was quite dark in the building. There's lots of broken glass and old beer cans and things, litter, cigarette ends. But it was quite misty, I couldn't quite see. But I saw something move. And I was transfixed. I just stared and stared and stared. And I couldn't look away. And it was a figure. A figure appeared wearing an RAF great coat, one of these great coats. Big winter. RAF great coat and a flying helmet and the figure was walking away from me walking away not coming towards me walking away from me and as silently as I could I moved forward to try and see was it one of the locals was it real or was it a ghost? The figure kept walking away. And just as it got to the end of the long building, a utility building, the figure turned round. And there was no face. 